morning. Last night we were at Lake Oroville, uh, checking out the water levels because they're extremely low right now, unfortunately. Uh, that was pretty cool. And then spent the night in the town of uh, Oroville. Interesting. <laughs> now we're on 162 heading uh, west towards the Mendocino National Forest where we're going to meet up with Brian of X Country Adventures and go check out some sites on the eastern side of the Mendocino National Forest. Uh, hopefully some new locations we've never been to. Not sure if we're going down the M3, the M10. Uh, I know that we're meeting up at the general store in Stony Ford. From there, it's all up in the air. So uh, looking forward, forward to a fun-filled day of adventure and uh, mystery, if you will. So. I hope you'll stick with us and enjoy this adventure with us. Don't forget to subscribe and like to see all the other adventures. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> we looked for the submerged city, uh, well, town, I suppose, of, hmm, what is it? Something bar? I don't know. Rivers bar? Is it where you ask Google? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to refresh my memory on that one. But we, we weren't able to see any parts of that submerged old town from the 1850s that are still there under the water. But I, I guess at this point, the water level isn't quite low enough to see that. Although in years past and once in a while, it has been revealed. Uh, but we still enjoyed a great sunset and a nice little walk across this giant bridge. We're probably in its territory. Possibly. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, we can see some rain on. We were on the eastern side of the lake, reservoir, I guess it is. Uh, and we can see on the western side, it looked like pretty heavy rain. So then uh, the ranger that stopped by said there was lightning last night in Chico and said that he had some uh, drops of water on his windshield. So we, there was some rain somewhere at some point, just not where we were. So. Uh, yeah, now nah, this is an interesting stretch of 162 though. I've never been here. It's got a lot of rice paddies mm -hmm. um, on one side. The other side looks like they're, it's dry dirt, so I'm not fields. sure what they're doing there. But I'm not a farmer, so. Red winged blackbirds everywhere. And morning doves. And morning doves everywhere, yeah, just so abundant. We were, uh, last night we were driving around uh, looking for places to experience, if you will, uh, Lake Oroville, we found one road that went down, a public road that went down into the reservoir and it just kept going down, 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 down until we hit the water edge. Uh, but we were so, the water level so low, we actually found a buoy for, uh, it said hazard on it. You ready? Very fancy. Um, and it was, what, 40, 50 feet above water level, but I will insert the picture here. I stood it up uh, next to our car, and then we have another picture. We'll insert here on the GPS on the screen. It looks like we're out in the lake, <laughs> so we're in our subaru, is what we've been calling it, because uh, we should have been uh, 40, 50 feet underwater. It looks kind of neat on the GPS that our little location triangle is way out there, in the water. well out into the water, <laughs> but it was dry as a bone. There was no risk of getting stuck at all. That was kind of neat. Uh, new tie of the Subi is now the Subaru for the yesterday. We also established a new life goal for our future because we saw the perfect cabin on the edge of a pond that was rustic with weathered wood and it had a deck that just went right out of the water. And something about it was so charming. We both were picturing ourselves swimming and fishing right off that deck that's just attached to the house. And what a dream that would be. If it had if it had, had some Spanish moss to me, it would have looked like the, the what is it, quintessential? The, the bayou. The bayou look. Uh, it was really pretty cool, but the, the support beams on the deck didn't look so healthy. Yeah, need some Ooh. help, need some love, need some rehab. Each time we go out, we go on Google and put a pin in a Google map and then share that file on Patreon. So if you want to not only support this content, you can get the map pin, the map pin updates every time we go out via Patreon. So as little as $2 a month, we greatly appreciate. You can also 
you get a map pin that has, I think we're currently at like 130 pins. Uh, dispersed campsites, swimming spots, places to go take a picture, take a selfie. Um, but again, also support this content because currently we have, the only support we have is from our patrons. So thank you patrons, we greatly appreciate you. When it came time to dinner in Oroville, we had to look around to find something, you know, so we checked some stuff out on the internet. We found a place called Union, and it was a really neat kind of historic building in downtown Oroville where everything looks very charming and old fashioned. And they had a huge outdoor dining space that was just wonderful, well landscaped with beautiful plants, little trees, lots of space for people to eat spaced out. And they had some live music playing, which was really great. Hashtag not sponsored. And really good food. <laughs> Hashtag not, not sponsored. <laughs> Just a little information. If you're in downtown Oroville and you want a, a nice place to hang out, the Union is good food and great atmosphere. Not a paid endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of the band. They were good. Uh, the Acoustic, uh, audio, Acoustic Cyclone. Acoustic Cyclone, that was it. They were really good. Yeah, they really had like someone, they were good. Yeah. <laughs> Their ability on the guitar to make some noises that I was—I couldn't for a moment figure out what how they were even doing. Yeah. And that was that was cool. I kept thinking of like some sort of like Jimi Hendrix kind of style. Like, yeah. Wow, you could do that with a guitar. Yeah. It was a little acoustic Hendrix action solos that we actually enjoyed. I was yeah, well done. Perhaps to acoustic cycle. Apparently they have a Facebook page, so. So yeah, we haven't checked it out yet, but. Staging area. Yeah, that's a uh, golf course. Um, there's a point over here. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a little mountain. That's where the hay riders come off of. Okay. And the big mountain, you know, kind of big ridge in the skyline. That's the mountain. Okay. Um, the little shop, shark looking ridge uh, here. That's uh, horse, uh, horse mountain. Right straight across? Yeah, this is the house right there. Barely, they're, yeah. They're above the house.
Dylan Panico, Bluebeard Adventures. Welcome to St. John Mountain. This has got to be a view that is, I don't have enough thumbs basically. Uh, we do have a waypoint, so look in the description down below if you want to come up here, but this is spectacular view. We're looking at Snow Mountain Wilderness, Whole Mountain, Black Butte, Lassen, Shasta, the Central Valley. This is amazing. Absolutely beautiful. It was quite a trek to get up here. Uh, our Subaru, I think, would make it, but it'd be pretty hard on the vehicle. You'd probably a little more ground clearance, but uh, we came up on a Can-Am. It just, no problems whatsoever. But if you're in this area, absolutely worth stopping by up here. The sunset has got to be absolutely amazing. I'll bet the sun rises just as amazing. Uh, I hear rumor you can see the fireworks on the 4th of July down in the valley down below. So. All right, so the, the ridge out here that you can see the road on, um, right where it's really nice and green. Off to the right, you can see more of the road where it kind of goes up the hill. That's Low Gap. Okay. And that road, Low Gap is where that gate, that green gate is, where you, in your last video with uh, Dan the Family Man. Oh, is that where it was uh, blah, right. had the old yep. expired? Yep, so that's that oh, spot. Oh, all right, that's where we were literally standing, it's right. right over there. No so kidding. you drive south, on this road and you're looking at Bowery Flat probably back in in uh, see that mountain peak right there mm -hmm. and then the small ridge behind it I think it's just it might be off to the right in, in that little um, kind of a uh, little valley right there and I think the that might be Bowery. Of snow mountain that's snow mountain yep and then we're about a whole mountain can we see it from here um whole mountain should be Would it be beyond those ridge? Is this not one of those? Actually, that might be a whole mountain right there. Okay. I could see that. Yeah, because um, that ridge there, let's see, I think that's Anderson Ridge there. And on the back side should be Brushy Camp. And we are standing, here's the... So that's all the uh, refuge. Game refuge. Yep. And then that right there's a uh, Black Butte. See the plateau over there? Okay. That should be Black Butte. And we are pretty high up to yeah. see Black Butte, Whole Mountain, Snow Mountain Wilderness, and you said Low Gap. So Pillsbury would be beyond those ridge lines. Yeah, like Pillsbury kinda... should be right on the backside here. Okay. Wow. And that's just looking this direction. So in a moment we'll go the other side. I want to say it was right down here. Back in 98, uh, we came up here and there was trash like all over the place. And what it was was a civilian plane had come up through the canyon and for some reason couldn't get altitude and he slammed <gasps> into the side of the mountain there. And oh. just, it, so was he throwing trash to try and save weight maybe? No, it was him hitting. Oh. So there was aluminum and, and plane wreckage. Is the plane still down in there or did they lift it out? Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure you can go and still find parts and pieces. Wow. Uh, if you go down the hill here, um, you should start seeing some like P-38 um, wreckage as well. Because I know there was one up high and then there's another one um, down lower. So you got a weather station up in here. Near the weather station up above, you got two fire cameras up there. So if you do come up here to take a pee, <laughs> make sure you're watching out for the cameras. I would imagine you get a lot, of, a lot of snow up in here, huh? Um, Stony Ford down there with... Uh, Is that East Stony Park. Gorge? The, I see a body of water. That's East Park. Okay. Stony Gorge would be um, over here. Okay. We stayed at East Park Reservoir. It was... I remember one time we pulled up, it was like 107 yeah. degrees. So, so hot here in the south.
Don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you want to see uh, get a copy of our map pins with every single pin we've ever been to. I have dropped a GPS location. It's available for download. And I am I'm speechless. <laughs> then check out this video and come up here yourself. Wow. That road you see right there, that's, that's all M3. So when we came in, we came in from Pillsbury area, so it's over there. Yeah, you, you did the switch back, came up the, the mountain, and then West Crockett should be over here. Came into Battery Flat, and then you guys drove M3, and I don't know where you guys broke off to get the Christmas tree. That was that was near Bowery Flat. That was near Bowery. We uh, I don't think we went a whole lot past either Nye Cabin or Bowery Flat. God, look at this 360 view. I'll try and stay in front of you here. If you would have stayed to the right to go back into that low water crossing mm -hmm. I was telling you about, yeah. you get out on Black Diamond, and uh, Black Diamond hits Open Ridge, and then see the road right down here, uh -huh. the, the oaks and the grass. That's Open Ridge, and that road takes you all the way up. Once you hit this canyon here, um, it may not be suitable for uh, lower vehicles. Mm -hmm. Lower clearance. Um, Two-wheel drive. Okay. Because uh, there's a, a steep cliff on um, both sides. Uh, the shale rock likes to slump off the uphill mm -hmm. side, and it gets on the, the road, and it builds up a, a berm. So you're you're having to oh, angle on a slippery edge. On a slippery edge, God, big little... rocks, and it's straight down on the other side. Dang. And then the, the the creek beyond that had blown out a couple times too. So. What's that little dragger. peak of snow I see way off in the distance over there? Yeah, uh, yeah. You're probably looking at the old bully. Really? Wow. I, I would assume. <laughs> it's a long way. Because I'm thinking, unless I'm wrong, um, that might be Doe Peak over there. Now on a clear day, could you see Sa Shasta or Lassen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can and actually be... see um, Lassen should be right there. You see this? Oh yeah, I can. It. It's like, it almost looks like clouds. And then though. over here it should be Shasta that looks like clouds, but it should be the snow that's popping through. We do have a black a video from Black Butte. That is Black Butte over here, right? Yep. So from there we have a video before the burn that shows a 360 view, and you can see down in the Plaskett Meadows. But on from there, uh, I don't know if it showed up on camera, but with our eyes we could see Lassen and Shasta. Mm -hmm. So um, you see the body of water. Um, out that direction. So you go down to this canyon, follow that canyon straight out, and you'll see a body of water way out there. Oh yeah, it's, okay. So that's a Black Butte Reservoir. Okay. That's quite a distance between the two to have the Black Butte, Black Butte. Yeah. But then there's also Black Butte General Store over by the M1 FH7. Yeah. So that's a pretty common name. So you, you can see, you see the ridge in the valley. It has a lot of rock. Yeah, yeah. Um, go beyond that, you'll see a green patch. Uh, I see the water. It's I'm hazy. Not way out there. I'm, I'm talking like right down here. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So okay. Like one ridge, two ridge, third ridge, and then it's like kind of green yeah. and flat. That's Stony Gorge. Okay. That's Stony Gorge Reservoir. And then Elk Creek's to the left over here. And we passed all that coming in today. Today we came from Oroville on 162 all the way over. Oh man, this is quite a view. And then you see the the really white, um, the white things out here in the valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's way Willows. over. That's the okay. straw plant. Oh, is that where we were seeing the stacks of mm -hmm. that were covered straw bales? Yeah. Okay. Quite a memorial. You can kind of make out some letters on there, but not really. Looks like K I K. If I'm guessing I or H. Hey, my name is Sean Casterly. I'm an avid peak bagger in California and Western US. And if you want to check out my blog, it's summitswagger.com.
Right on. Well, pleasure meeting you. Yeah, Hope you to too. see you yeah. out on the trail. Bluebeard Adventure? Bluebeard Adventure is plural. Bl Adventures. And then we also met a Northern California hiking Facebook group yesterday. <laughs> so it's like a big, uh, I guess, um, online social media. Uh, are, are you guys limited to a certain portion of the state or do you go all over? I go all over. All over the and, place? Yeah, all Western United States, okay. Japan, Taiwan, and uh, Central America. Okay, so your blog covers quite a, like the globe. Yeah, I mean, I haven't done anything in uh, Himalayas or anything yet. I did a little in But Africa. that's a yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't want to go there. So, so you, do you uh, put up pictures in like a nice description? Or yeah, like... trip reports. Okay. So like it's uh, a lot of peak baggers do that. Like uh, on peakbagger.com, you could see like a sense and then people will like link their blog and then you could go see their trip reports. So then the next hiker will know what to expect. Okay. So I knew I could drive up this one because of someone else's trip report. So. All right. So through you and through me, they can get quite a bit of area all over the globe. Yeah, definitely. Right on. And it's only getting, you're only posting more and more. So as yeah. time goes on, there's going to be more places. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you. You too. Cheers. Bluebeard Adventures. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. If you do happen to see me out on the trail, please stop me and say hello. I'd love to meet you and uh, show you around and just chew the fat, as they say, share some locations. Um, by all means, please do. Let's shake hands as they say well our covid times will bump elbows <laughs>
good day. We're on Highway 162. We were just in Oroville, at Lake Oroville. 